Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Nemo's War. Unfortunately, I messed up some things during at least both episodes one and two pretty much. One was really, I, I just forgot it. So when I wrote those snake eyes for my first search test during episode two, of course, I still have to suffer the normal loss. I took the loss for really for wagering with my crew, but I did not go for the calamity here, which says lose one crew and one hull. I think I did it for the second test I did, or at least I noticed this second test. But yeah, I completely forgot this one here. So let's definitely lose one hull and we will lose one crew. On top of this, I should have at least one or two more of those gemstones because whenever you're rolling basically doubles for a lull turn, and this is really something I completely forgot when playing this on my own as well, to be honest, you can also place, let's say, those crystal stones into adjacent oceans. And yeah, this is what I basically forgot. I This is something I will not take back, to be honest. Keep in mind, I'm playing as mean as possible and on top of this when you roll for a lull turn you will ignore the black die when placing a ship token so there should have been at least one less of those tokens here but this is also something i will not take back because on top of this i believe i spent some of those uh, tr treasure tokens here for some tests and the rules are really pretty clear and thanks Wes for making me aware of this. You can only use those for a so-called R test, so that's rest, repair, refit, or the inside action down there, nothing else. And not sure where I messed this up and this is why I don't take back, let's say, the ship placement here so in order to balance things out a little bit at least. So as of now, I will definitely play it correct. But I think apart from that, I really <laughs> hope I covered everything. So let's dive into the next round. Let's resolve our adventure. And here we have shortage of air. How long, I ask, will the oxygen in the air tanks enable us to breathe on board? The captain looked me straight in the eye. After tomorrow, he said, the air tanks will be empty. Yeah, it's a test. We can only wager our crew. It's a 10. Well, that's definitely a tough one. If you would pass, we would gain a hell of a lot of victory points. So that's six because of the science discovered token here and three more. So that's really a great card. If you would fail it, we would lose an additional crew or decide now to skip this turn's action phase and you receive zero action points. Okay, better pass this test, I guess. Let's wager our crew. Now we have to roll, wow, an eight. And now I'm really tempted to basically put this card into my pass pile and get a plus three DRM. Right now, this is really a test, so I can definitely go for it. So yeah, let's do that. So in total, that's applied plus five now. I still get the victory point here, so that's still okay. But I still need to roll at least a Five. No, yeah, that's the case. Okay, that's definitely good enough. So I get a lot of victory points, which is good. And yeah, I don't suffer any ill effects for now. That's great. Okay, I think then we can roll for placement. Oops, what did we get? Okay, that's two action points. And then we have to place some ship tokens. Two is occupied, so we have to replace it with another ship token. Wow, another warship, the Shenandoah. <laughs> That's a mean little fella, that's for sure. Let's put it onto the two for now. I really have to do something about those. Then we have the four. Four also has to be replaced. I think only the six can take something. Yep, that's the case. So let's see what we get. Okay, that's much better. That's the tin. Wow, a mail ship with three of those. Poof, but let's place it there anyway. And yeah, last but not least, six. But six can be placed either there or there. So no, I think it has to go here because yeah, it's available. Yeah, that's already the end of the placement phase. And I think, huh, I think I really should move out of this corner and maybe go for this whaler. But this whaler gives me a plus one Nemo, which I would lose or waste right now. So I'm not sure if I really want to do that, but I still could go for some of the others here too. So why not? Yeah, first of all, let's spend one action to move to the Western Pacific here. So that's one action point. And with my final action, I think I want to do some firefighting here. So let me go for another 
dark attack this round. I may have a plan for next round. So let's see how things turn out. So let's put it here and I saw on a screenshot, they fit really nice on top of those. So this looks really cool, but let's see what this ship actually is. And what did we get? And okay, the America. Okay, that's a 10. Wow, let's try to sink her. In this case, we will spend Nemo or we will wager Nemo on there. So that's a plus two, plus three because of the stalk attack that still leaves us with a seven to roll. So let's see. You are close, but definitely good enough. So we go up one of on the notoriety track. It was a stalk attack, but we gained two more victory points. And I will put this into our tonnage area for now. That was already the end of our round. And here we see the Korea incident. Captain Nemo glowered at Ned for his remarks in favor of Americans and growled. Even now, Mr. Land, the Americans desire to force open trade with the reclusive Koreans. And just as they did in Japan 15 years ago, the Americans are sending a war fleet to articulate their interests. Keep. When the Nautilus is in the Western Pacific, and right now we are, you may intervene on Korea, Korea's behalf. Test 11, we can wager Nemo and the crew. If you would pass and place up to 1d3 uprising cubes in any Pacific Ocean locations. Okay, each of those are three victory points, so that's pretty cool. If you would fail, we would lose this one. Awesome. I uh, will lose to Hull on this. Oh, gain plus four notoriety. That's definitely something we don't want to see. Next, roll for placement. Oh, wow. Only one action. This hurts. Again, we have to do something about that two here. Yeah, we have to play. Uh, replace one counter there. There's nothing I can do. Okay, that's the taping. Let me put us the taping here. No, that's right. I think we really have to do a boat attack anytime soon. Then we have three that's up there. Three is also no three can be placed there. So let's do that. But we still have the four and the four would would then replace one token there. Let's see. Okay, the Arapiles. Let's put it down in the South Atlantic, I think. Okay, that was the placement phase with only one action. There's not really much we can do. And now I'm really tempted to do this test here when the Nautilus is in the Western Pacific. We are, and we would gain 1d3 uprising cubes, so up to three of those. It could be nine victory points. Yeah, let's do that. Let's wager with Nemo and the crew. So in total, that's plus four. And it seems we don't have to spend an action here. Normally it's really clearly written on the card to spend an action, but I have to roll. Still a seven, huh? Wow, okay. Let's see. Oh, again, awfully close, but good enough. So we pass this card. It doesn't really bring us anything, but we can place 1d3 uprising cubes into any Pacific Ocean. So let's see. Of course, that's only a one. And I think I want to place it right next to where I am. Shogun Rebellion sounds pretty cool. Okay, this was that. That's right now three victory point, but there are good chances that we would lose those cubes whenever we go through a lull term, basically, yeah, government and whoever will hit back and will try to remove those tokens. And then I would spend my one and only action to move one, two spaces there. And yeah, I guess I really have to do that. So I will spend this retainer here, X for one action. So I will lose two victory points for that, which is not really great, but this gives me one additional action. And I think with one additional action, I want to take out this Ellen Southern here. Okay, we will go for another stalk attack this round. Again, I will wager with Nemo. Oops, that was too far. But I'm looking for an seven now. Seven it is. Yeah, we have plus one from our stalk attack. Seven. Woo. Okay, that was close. We gain one notoriety. And we gain two victory points and I will definitely place this ship into the North Atlantic Sea region. So we are coming closer to 12 victory points rather than just eight. So they are not cumulative. Next card. Oh man, that's a tough one. A mass execution. The poor ship then sank more swiftly. 
its mastheads appeared, laden with victims, then its cross trees bending under clusters of men, finally the peak of its mainmast, then the dark mass disappeared, and with it a crew of corpses dragged under by fearsome eddies. Fail and gain plus D3 notoriety. I'm pretty sure I will now roll a 5 or a 6 because it's not in our favor. And a 5 or a 6 would mean we would gain 3 more points and then we would see those blue guys um, basically appearing. And this is definitely something I don't want to see. No, we are good. We are good. That's only one additional notoriety point. But still, bad enough. Let's roll for placement. Okay, again, only one action point. Wow, man, things are really looking bad now. We can definitely place the one here. That's not a problem. The two is a problem. We know that already. Yeah, there's not much we can do. We have to replace one token. That's another ship here. So yeah, let's put it still here because I think I have to go there anytime soon and really go for a bold attack of some sort. And then we have three, three is kind of okay right now because we just got rid of a ship up there. So that was the placement phase, but with only one action. I really don't know what to do, to be honest. I don't want to take out the tin world here because if I would do, I would gain two notoriety at least, and this would then bring those blue ships into the drawback, and I don't want to see them coming, to be honest. They're really getting pretty, pretty tough, to be honest. So I'd rather think of, uh, I really have to do something. No, let's go for one stalk attack here and draw a ship out of the back for that one. Let's see what we get. It's the Hilland warship, an armored frigate. Ooh, that's kind of tough, but I think this is something we may be able to take out. So yeah, I will definitely try to attack this ship. Keep in mind, it fires first. I'm looking for a six. So let me show that to you. That's good enough. So it does not hit us, which is a good thing. And then we would wager with Nemo for a plus two. We gain our plus one because of the stalk attack. So again, we are looking for a seven pretty much so for the defense value here. And yeah, wow, good enough, awesome. We don't get any notoriety, which is great. We remove the ship and yeah, this brings us one additional victory point. Okay, next card. Oh yeah, of course, act three. I knew it had to be coming anytime soon. The Nautilus went at a frightful pace, 40 miles an hour. It literally tore through the water. Where was Captain Nemo? Had he succumbed? Were his companions death with him? Change Nemo's motive or add a Nautilus upgrade card for purchase. I think I will not change the motive for now. Right now I think I'm doing okay with what I have. Add the orange reinforcement group to the ship draw pool and continue play with the next card. Roll three white dice now and one black die to begin each placement for choosing any two of the white dice to determine action points or a lull turn. So we are getting some more, let's say, flexibility in, in what turn we want to do. Let's put those guys in the draw bag and let's draw our next adventure card. And here we have the Taurus Straits. The Taurus Straits are nearly 34 leagues wide, but they are obstructed by an innumerable quantity of islands, isles, breakers and rocks. The Nautilus, floating betwixt wind and water, went at a moderate pace. Her screw, like a cetacean tail, bed the waves slowly. Pretty sure I was mispronouncing that. Immediately, so it's a keep card, immediately after moving between the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific, either way, you may perform this test for plus one notoriety test seven. That's okay. We can wager with the hull. We would pass basically five victory points, no, seven victory points for us, and you would receive two action points. So this is definitely a card worth keeping. We have to keep it anyway. But now we have to roll those dice. And again, we cannot go for a lull turn, but I get to choose which dice I want to take. And in order to do something meaningful, I think I will go for the four and the one. So this would give me now three actions. I still have to place four ships, so there's no way around that. So let's start with one. I have to replace a ship token. That's clear. Okay, that's another warship. Let's place the warship here into the South Pacific for now. Then we have the first two. First two is here. There's also nothing we can do. And now things are really starting to get grim. 
another a sea monster, a sea serpent. Oh, how cool is that? Then we have another two, and now we cannot place any more ships into the area, so we can or we have to basically flip a ship to the warship side. One of those. If I no longer can do that and cannot place any warships into an ocean, then I would be pretty much have lost the game. But I think we are still far from that. I think this was the second two, and then we have the four and the four. Yeah, that's something we can place. That's at least something, but wow. The Eastern Pacific looks really, really grim. Because I want to use the Torres Strait at some point in time, I think it would be a good idea to move back here to the Western Pacific region for one of those action points. I still have two more points now. And I think with that, I want to, yeah, let's go for it. It, it really, we, we have to remove those ships, that's clear. So we will do a stalk attack against the Pequot here. So that's basically a plus one. Again, we will wager Nemo, so we may get back to be honest. So that's a plus three. Hit value is a nine, so we need to roll a six. So let's see how well we do. Another seven, that's great, that's great. Unfortunately, we don't get any victory points for that. We don't get the Nemo, we lost this, but we also don't gain any notoriety. So overall, that's definitely good enough. Now I'm thinking that this was a stupid idea. I should have really moved closer to the Eastern Pacific right now, because I could not go there, I could go for the test and yeah, but I think I have to do this now. I have to follow the plan, otherwise this would be a completely useless turn, to be honest. So, with my remaining action, I will move one, two spaces down to Cape of Good Hope. Now I will go for the Torres Straits here. This is a test. I will wager crew. Unfortunately, I only get a plus one for my uh, for the hull in this case. So I still need to roll a six or higher, of course. Yeah, that's good enough. Awesome. So I pass this test, which is really great. So I can keep this for the victory points and I gain two action points for this turn only. This is great. So let's put it into the pass pile. Let's grab our two action points for this round. And I think here I really want to get rid of that warship down there. Again, I will go for a stalk attack. That much is clear. They will hit first anyway. So I'm looking for a seven or more. Oh man, wow. This now really hurts because we would be hit twice now. Ooh, that was awfully close. But I'm not going to sacrifice one of my folks. I think not. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's see. First hit goes to the hull. Yeah, that's for sure. Second hit also goes to the hull. Okay, we are still seaworthy, but if that would be our final score, we would lose five victory points by the end of the game. We now get to attack. So let's wager another Nemo for a plus two. We still get a plus three. So we are looking again for a seven and wow, this can really go down bad. Bam, and we definitely didn't do it. Oh man, this was a complete miss even if I would spend Bend my no, there is no way I can do that. Good thing is we only get basically we're only losing one resource now because the lowest dive showed one, but still, oh man, this is really starting to hurt. Wow, okay, I think I will not continue fighting the Huascar. The risk is simply too high. We can really damage our ship and or our crew badly at this point in time. So I think I will call it around. We still have one more action point left, but I will keep it for the next round. So let's see what we get. The treasure fleet. Laden with the precious booty, the men returned to the Nautilus, disposed of their burden and went back to the inexhaustible fishery of gold and silver. Play. Fail and place the sunken treasure fleet token and a treasure available token in a random major ocean. After you successfully search there, gain that ocean's treasure and the sunken treasure fleet which grants you two additional silver uprising cubes giving you 12 in total and a plus two DRM for future inside actions. Wow! Okay, this may really change the plan to be honest. Wow, this is really, really great. There is a token for this treasure fleet, for the sunken treasure fleet. Where is it? 
Yep, that's actually here. And yeah, just place it somewhere. So let's roll the die. That's a three. Okay, the treasure fleet goes here into this ocean. And we also place a treasure available stone there. Okay, so overall, that's really a very, very cool location now for us, to be honest. Wow, this is really great. Let's roll those um, placement dice and see what we get. Again, we cannot go for a lull turn so i think i think i think i will go yeah let's take two more actions now but of course we have to do a full placement we have to start with a four being down there okay the south atlantic do we have here that's the tate sing and now i'm tempted to place her up there to be honest because i want to go there let's do that then we have a five, five is there, five, no, we cannot place it there. Only the six will save us. So that's another we white ship. Oh, that's great. That's really, really great, to be honest. We have another five. So let's do, oh, wow, that's an orange one. Man, the Prince Albert, hmm, iron side ship. Where would I place her? I think somewhere here into the Indian Ocean for now, because the six, basically this one here has to go or can go adjacent and adjacent would be here in the Western Pacific area. Okay, that was the placement. I really hope I haven't forgotten a ship. And right now I'm pretty concerned about my notoriety because I cannot really take out ships once I'm really close. I really don't want to see those go into my draw drawback, to be honest. So I guess again, I want to move up there. I have to, do it's really stupid. I'm going back and forth and wow, I really hate this, but there are so cool things out there, to be honest. And I don't get there to the General Grand at this point in time. Because I would lose one, two movement point and two movement points alone to go to the Western Pacific region. And the cool stuff is up there. So yeah, I think I have to do that. I have to go there. So one action, one, two action points here. But I think before I do anything stupid up there, I think I will do a refit action because I want to have this fog machine here and with this fog machine I can really lose some of my notoriety point. Worst case would be only two but at least that's something. I get a minus one for any warship present but right now there aren't any warships present. That's definitely already a good thing and yeah I will definitely wager with oof, let's go with crew though that's a plus two and this time i will be allowed to use one of this treasure token so in total that's a plus five now i will lose three more victory points for that so yeah but that's it plus five it is we are looking for a cool result here so it yeah, at least okay snake eyes is definitely not good enough so let's see that's seven plus five that's 12 awesome gain upgrade for one fewer salvage Perfect. And I just noticed, I think I was allowed to reveal a new upgrade card because I haven't changed my motive. So let's do that real quick. The double hull, gain an additional one year and when exerting your hull resource, also ignore all sixes when rolling. To what? Oh man, this is great. This is so great, the double hull. Ooh, now I really have to start thinking because as of then I will, oh man, this is so great. This is so great, but I think I can still do that. I only need to pay one now because, yeah, I was again brilliant. So let's discard one of those ship tokens. Let's really go for the fog machine. I think this was our plan. We will take this fog machine for sure. I cannot use it right now because I'm out of action points here. And keep in mind, a refit action during a standard turn costs us two action points. So that's already it. Of course, I still have one retainer with me. Uh, but right now, I think I, I don't need to do that. So let's go into the next round. And here, the Earth wants us not new continents, but a new man. May the contemplation of so many wonders extinguish forever the spirit of vengeance. May the judge disappear and the philosopher continue the peaceful exploration of the sea. A test with only Nemo. Pass, we can keep it, that's four points for us, yes. And reset the Nemo ship resource marker to its determined space. Oof. 
if you desire. Okay, we are, uh, let's say, right now above the determined space, so I don't basically <laughs> gain anything from that. But yeah, definitely four victory points for us. So let's roll some dice. Let's wager with Nemo, that's for sure. But again, we are looking for a seven or higher. Yep, that's good enough. Great. So we are allowed to keep this car. That's four more points for us. But unfortunately, we don't gain any resources out of that card. Then let's roll for placement and this time we could go for a lull turn but with a lull turn I'm out of action but I could still go for that. Let me think about it and yeah I think I will go for a lull turn so basically those are my two chosen actions so the good thing is we will not see the black die now being placed as a lull turn. Those three still do count. We don't get any points out of that. But of course, we still have to place the ship tokens for the white dice here. So that's a four, the first one. Let's see. Okay, that's the Napoleon. And I think we will place her here. That's for sure. That's a cool ship. Second four. What do we get here? Oh, <laughs> König Wilhelm. That's a Prussian warship. He would have needed this. Yeah, let's place this ship down there. And then it's the five up there. So again, what do we get? And the back is really getting pretty empty. The Rhone. Let's also place the Rhone onto this ocean here for now. We still get to place one crystal down on the four where we rolled the doubles and we get to place one gemstone here on the adventure stack. And I think this is what I will do right now. So I will get rid of my retainer here for one action now. And with this action, I will see what adventure card I will get. And what do we have here? A keep card as master wishes. If can say I had a seasoned specialist, biological classification and enthusiast who could run with acrobatic agility up and down the whole ladder of branches, groups, classes, subclasses, orders from families, genera, subgenera, species and varieties. Keep. If Conseil is still in play, who is not during one, any one of future actions, you may spend up to three actions to collect one for each of those actions spent. Wow. Okay, we keep this card, so there is no ill effect. That's already a good thing. But of course, we get two tokens here. So first one. Uh, oops, what did we get? <laughs> oh, man. We are so screwed. Okay, X and we just gained one, two, three more notoriety. So those guys go into the ship bag. Wow, what a downer. Still get a second draw. So what do we get? Oh, great, two victory points. I think we spent two in order to gain that action. Wow, this was really bad. And we spent two of those gemstones. <laughs> Hate it. Next round, the Chinese treasure fleet. Okay, this could give us some victory points. Mr. Aranax, a century before Europe's age of exploration, the Ming Emperor achieved suzerainty with the voyages of his great treasure fleet. China was a preeminent naval power and I am charting the routes to the south and west of China. Place a treasure available token in each of the Western Pacific and Indian Oceans. See Rule 10. If the Nautilus is in or a single move action away from either of these oceans, pass and collect one gemstone. Wow! Otherwise, fail and gain one Nemo or one crew. Hmm, interesting. So first we get to place one stone here in the Western Pacific and we can do that also adjacently. Keep that in mind. So I think I will place one gemstone now here to the... The Indian Ocean gets one of its own. So let's place one here to the Central Pacific area. And another one goes there. If I'm now one move action away from either of these oceans i could pass it and collect one treasure for that and actually i am one move action away here okay that's really a pity i was hoping for a group point kind of but we are really getting some victory points for that too so i think that's great so we will pass this card let's draw one treasure token here and at least we found four additional victory points. Not too bad. I will definitely not complain about this. Okay, this is our role. I will not go for a lull turn. I need action, so I will go for those two dice here. So this gives me four action points. Not bad. Let's start with a two. And yeah, we 
only flip one of those guys here. Let's go for this one here. This is now an armored frigate. This was the two. The three is up there. We can still replace a ship token. Yeah, in the five ocean. So let's see. Okay, the buffle. Okay, I think. Hmm. No, let's do that. No, we get a lot of six two. <laughs> So let's put it here for now. Then we have the sixth, the first one here, but I think we can definitely go up there. What do we have here? The Ryuro, Ryujo, I think a Japanese warship. I think let's keep her here. And last but not least, another one. I think this will be placed into, yeah, we will place this into the Western Pacific region of the board. I think those were all four dice. And with my first action, I will now use the fog machine here. Or right now, is it really that important? I really wanted to use it before I get the um, reinforcement group there, but still I'm not too far away from really losing <laughs> this game, to be honest. So yeah, let's do that. Let's roll those two dice. We would remove this card here. And, and now I really want to see a good result. Oof, that's a five. Five is not really great, but I will take it anyway. So we will lose one, two, three, four, five notoriety point. Overall, not terrible, but could have been better. That's for sure. And there is now a real risk that I could lose this game, to be honest, if I really roll badly during the next placement phase or so. So I think I will really try to get rid of one of those ship tokens here. And for now, I think there is no reason not to go for this one here. Or maybe I shouldn't. No, let's go for, let's go for an easy one. I really want to make sure to get rid of it. No. Let's go for the tight scene. So we will do a stalk attack. So I will spend one action point. I have to roll an eight now. I will wager with Nemo again. So that's a plus three in total. So I need to roll at least a six. Yep, that's definitely good enough. So the tight scene is done. I don't get any notoriety for that. I gain one victory point. It was in the North Atlantic area. And I think I will go for another refit action now. So I will spend my remaining two action points. Again, I will wager with Nemo for a plus two. I don't get any penalties, only warships do count at this point in time, but I think I will spend this gem here for a plus four in total. So let's see how good or bad we roll nine. Plus four again, we gain the upgrade for one fewer salvage. Wow, <laughs> those guys really know how to treat the Nautilus. So I think I will spend those two, doesn't really matter to be honest, and I will totally go for the periscope device because I don't gain a plus one between consecutive bold attacks to be honest. So that could be really helpful now. So let's move into the next round. A keep card, Captain Nemo's Diaries. For my part, I did not wish to bury with me the, my curious and novel studies. I had now the power to write the true book of the sea. And this book, sooner or later, I wished to see daylight. Keep. After placing the finale card in the pass or fail pile, we will test without any... Wow, okay, without any crew points whatsoever, though we cannot wager this. Okay, we would pass and gain one Nemo and four points here. And yeah, depends on how good or bad we pass the finale cat, we uh, then get a easier or more difficult result. Hmm, okay. For now, we have to keep it anyway. So let's roll those dice and oh, what a bad roll. I should now really consider going for a lull turn, to be honest. Or maybe not. No, I think that would be too risky because then I would have to place two in the two. That's too risky. That's definitely too risky. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because I have to place two dice there anyway. And to be honest, no, that's just enough. I think that's really just enough to be honest. Oh man. Oh man. This is so tough. What to do with that? That's so bad. No, I think 
we need that action that's clear so those are my chosen dice i would gain one action point for that and then things are really started starting to get ugly here i just simply have to flip this ship there is no way around it the second ship now i cannot place it adjacent so i have to place a ship somewhere basically on an empty space and this was the main reason why i got rid of one of those um places there so what do we <laughs> you must be kidding me the captain a capital ship wow and i think now those guys go hunting so i have to find it right away if i'm not mistaken yes that's the case because it's the ocean where the nautilus currently is i get a free stalk attack right now so yeah but first of all they will hit us first for eight points or rather i have to roll at least an eight in order not to get hit and i think there's nothing i can do about it nine awesome okay that's really great and now i still have to roll an eight for the stalk attack i will wager nemo so in total that's a plus three so i need to roll at least a six then i could take out the captain that would be nice oh what a roll that's great so that's four more victory points i gain one notoriety because it was a stalk attack in the end and yeah i have to place it into the north atlantic sea zone i think i will definitely do that i still had a three to place if i'm not mistaken so we can place a ship there wow that's great and there was a five so yeah we can definitely deal with that too so what did we get a blue ship the idaho well, let's place the idaho here a steam cruiser to the european seas sea region okay that wasn't that bad at all and i think with our one and only action we will now do a bold attack and of course we will start with uh, let's take this ship here first may continue until fail or salvage so we don't should not salvage that ship now we have to roll an eight of course we can still wager so we will go for nemo again so in this case we still need to roll a six or more yes that's good enough so let's remove that ship unfortunately yeah, it doesn't provide me any victory points whatsoever i could now decide to move on and because of my periscope device i don't get a plus one for the extra attack so yeah let's go for this one here i could have mm, used the stalk attacks but then i still got to those plus one no that's not what i want to do so i will go after the roan here that's now a seven i will wager nemo so i need to roll a five let's see that's the five awesome 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 now we get a notoriety because we were not using our stalk attack and we don't get any victory points whatsoever but overall that's okay i think i will put it now into our salvage area so this automatically stops my bold attack but i'm kind of happy with what i did okay let's draw the next card commerce scare a play card the shipping and the mercantile gazette the lloyd's list the packet boat and the maritime and colonial review all papers devoted to insurance companies which threaten to raise their rates of premium were unanonymous on this point public opinion had been pronounced play perform this many reactions for and p if motive is war or anti-parallelism imperialism or plus uh, two reactions and fail if motive is explorer or science yeah, well that's the case we will fail this car that's clear for each reaction either gain plus one notoriety or flip any non-warship token to show its warship side Oof, this is really crappy so not we don't get the three points here and we gain a yeah Oof. This is no tough. I can choose for each reaction. So the first reaction is to flip this ship to the warship side. And I think with a second reaction, I will simply take one notoriety and I have to put it into our fail pile. Let's roll our dice. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, in this case, it doesn't really matter. So let's go for two actions this round let's place some more ships starting here in the western pacific region what did we get the scotia i think yeah let's place her there that's 
cool. And then it's two again. Again, we have to place a warship oh, or a ship into our ocean. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. The two is really mean. So what did we get? Okay, the belly cruise. Okay, we have to fight her uh, with a free stalk attack. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we have to do that right away. It will shoot again for a seven. Yes, okay, we evaded that or we dodged that bullet. That's great. And I will wager Nemo one more. No, I will wager the crew actually for a plus two. We have a stalk attack plus three, so we need to roll a seven now. I think we already know the drill. Eight, awesome. Well, that's two more points and we get to keep this card. And I think I will also put it into the salvage area for now, but we are not done yet. We still have to place a three, which is not a problem. And I think this was a four, right? So yeah, okay, four is here. So let's place her here. Okay, overall, that wasn't that bad at all, to be honest. And I think, wow, I think I just noticed something. I believe we had a lull turn here. And whenever you do a lull turn, you check for those in rebellion markers or whatever they are refer to uprising markers. And I think I didn't do that. Ooh, okay, that's tough. And I really don't know how many ships I had there. So yeah, let's make it as mean as possible. Let's just consider, let's do the roll right now. I believe there was one ship at that time because I had one ship for that all the time. But yeah, I, I really don't know, to be honest, and I don't want to go back. So it's now one plus two, that's a three. And that's what I have to roll with one die, three or more, basically, in order to keep that. Yes, okay, this was okay. So no harm done for now. And then we can move on with our mission. And I think right now I really want to get rid of that tin world here. So I will go for another stalk attack. Um, yeah, I would take two notoriety hits, but right now I think that should be okay. Again, I will wager with the crew. I did not move her back. So I need to roll a six in order to sink her. Oh yeah, that's definitely good enough. I gain two notoriety, one and two, but I also gain two victory points for that and this is not bad. Now that this ocean is empty, I think I will try to find the sunken treasure fleet. So what do we have to do there? We do have, yeah, we seem to do a search action there. So again, I will wager with the crew for a plus two. So let's see what we roll. Eight, that's a 10 success. Okay, we would collect one treasure there. So let's see what we get for that token. Hopefully all harmful tokens are out of that bag. Okay, what do we have? X to gain one crew or keep for three. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. So I think for now I will retain it, that's for sure. And this now gives me the trunk and treasure fleet. So I gain those two extra cubes, which I can use right now. I'm really not good at using those, to be honest. So that's really bad. And I gain a plus two whenever I try to incite a rebellion or an uprising. So I really must not forget that. Unfortunately, it's not worth victory points per se, but I will not complain about that. But I just noticed, I think I will basically get rid of that one here because that's three point, but this is worth four points. So totally I gain one extra victory point for that crew and yeah, I can wager for a plus three. That's definitely worth Bending and I think this was already the end of the round. Yep. So let's draw the next adventure card and bam, a hollow explosion. Explosion. We are really coming closer to the end of the game. What sort of craft is it, Nat? From its rigging and its low mast, the Canadian replied, I bet it's a warship. Here's hoping it pulls up and sinks the damned Nautilus. Fail, Nat, the red reinforcement ship group to the ship draw pool. And yeah. This is really a nasty or incredibly large part, to be honest. But before we do that, we will discard one random ship for each of the first three notoriety defeat levels not achieved yet. So the three ones, so that's pretty much all three of them because we would have been defeated before that anyway. So let's just take three from the bottom. I have not really checked those. So that's already a good thing. And before we do that, we would now add one random undiscarded red ship to the Nautilus current ocean. So we have to fight it pretty much. This is a mandatory free stalk attack action. So what ship do we have to place? 
Bam, and here is the Monarch. And by the way, we would have uh, have to add it even though there were, weren't any free um, spots there available. Well, that's that's one, I think, exception to the rule that we can definitely place it. So, wow, nine. So yeah, we know the drill. We have a mandatory free stalk attack. So let's hope for a good roll. Ah, oh, no, that's definitely not good enough. So it hits us once. Okay, that's, I guess, Okay, so let's see where it hits us. Six, that's of course, oh, that's the hull. So we go down to, wow, okay, that's a tough one. 10 negative victory points. And now we have to attack and whew, this is not tough. We have to roll a 10 or we could wager with our fresh crew. That's plus four in total. So there is a chance. It's four victory points, yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's wager with our crew. In total, that's a plus four now. So we need to roll a seven or higher. Eight. Okay, that's good enough. Eight plus four. Yeah, that's 12. Okay, we were able to take down the Monarch and I will definitely keep her for four victory points. That's definitely not too shabby. But then we still have to do the placement phase. Okay, so there is no... Yeah, let's go for this five and one apparently. So we will see four action points this round. We still have to do some placement. Let's start with a one first. Yeah, I have to replace a token there. It's okay. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Oh, there's another non-warship there. Then it's the three, I think. Oh, that's a problem now. <laughs> three is a problem because, yeah can be a problem then we have two times the five okay no that's okay so one five yeah we can do that we can do that so here we have the victoria let's place her here and then last but not least the second five the repulse okay we'll place her into the indian ocean and i think then i really should get rid of some ships there so one action will move us one two spaces here and now i could really think thinking of using my periscope device to take down oh yeah let's do that so let's go for a stalk attack against this ship here first plus one drm i gain a plus one if i go for the next ship but let me try and find out i only need to roll a six i will wager with my crew so i have a plus four i need to roll a three that's the case definitely good enough so the clyde is down we would put her into our now we have to put her in the western pacific tonnage track because otherwise my attack action would stop then i will move on and i think i will go for this ship here because i will gain less no here again two victory points for that but only one no let's go for this ship here of course so again, I will wager with my crew. I will gain one notoriety because I moved on now and now my monstrous design no longer protects me. So yeah, let's go for that. I have to roll a six or higher. That's a nine, definitely good enough. So I gain two more victory points if I want to keep her. And I think I will want to keep her, but I definitely gain one notoriety for that too. And I think then I want to go for an inside action here in that ocean here i have the sunken treasure fleet with me so this definitely helps me i will spend my or will wager my crew that's a plus three i have the sunken treasure fleet that's a plus five but for each um, uprising cube present i lose one and for each revealed ship token, i only also lose one so it's still a plus three here because we have this agon court with us so let's roll those dice we are looking at least for oh wow nine so six awesome wow nine plus three that's 12 okay we can place a reroll it can place one cube there so in theory those are three more points but we also lose to notoriety okay that wasn't bad at all then i think i will go for a surge action here and again i will yeah wager with my crew for a plus three i get a minus one here because for every action that's here any reveal ship token that is yeah though it's still a plus two so let's see what we get eight plus two is ten success we would collect one treasure token so yeah let's see what we get and here what do we get x for one action or keep it for 
we are basically two additional victory point. That's great. And I just noticed, I think I really should spend my retainer here to gain one hull because it will basically subtract three victory points, but I gain five back. So in total, that's net gain of two. Let's remove this cube. And I think I will hold on to my last action in case we may go for a lull turn or so. So let's draw our next adventure card. And oh, wow, the finale. Finale B, return to Mystery Island. I don't know this one. Captain Nemo looked at the engineer as if he would have annihilated him. Then, falling back upon the cushions, he murmured, After all, what does it matter? I'm dying. You can no longer select a move action. At the beginning of each turn, skip the event phase. Okay, we no longer see cards. At the end of each turn, move the Nautilus two oceans closer to the Western Pacific automatically and for free. When it reaches the Western Pacific, P and the game ends. Oh, and wow, actually, we are at the Western Pacific. So this is now pretty much, uh, yeah, this is pretty much our last round. Oh, now I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest yeah but still i think we have to roll for placement and i'm happy i kept this one action so we may go for a light turn if somehow possible no it's not possible okay that's a pity yeah then i think let's go for the highest possible results so two more actions we cannot move anyway but we still have to place tokens and again this damn two here so again we have to place a ship into our ah season Oh man, I was really not doing good there. <laughs> of course, it's a red ship, the invincible battleship. Okay, I guess we will go down badly here. So that was the two. So we have to roll a 10 in order not to get hit. No, that's not good enough. We get hit twice now. So first hit, that's a five. Okay, we are losing what we just spent, but maybe it was still worth it. And the second hit also, wow, 15 points in total, negative points in total. We are still not done yet. And I have placed those, yeah, remember me tokens there. So that's the three. Let's place one token here, the sellers. Uh, let's place it here, it doesn't really matter. This one is taken care of. Then it's the four up there. We also, yeah, we have to place basically all three ships here, the iron side. And last but not least, the five. What did we get? Oh, finally a white ship, the Syria. <laughs> okay, as I already mentioned, this is our very last round. And I think I want to repair because I still have this negative eight cards in my deck. But for every warship present, I would lose a minus two, to be honest. So things could be pretty nasty. So I could now really think of first trying to get rid of that one here. And but this could really. Yeah, come on, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's do a stalk attack against the Agincourt here. So they roll for a six. That should be doable. Yeah, that's good enough. Then we will attack her with a plus four. We will wager our crew. Again, we need a six. Yeah, let's put her here. Woo, seven. <laughs> okay, we will keep her for the victory point. It goes into the Western Pacific, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. One more point. But we got rid of one additional ship token. And I think now, we will spend one to action to do uh, a repair action. And the best that can happen is that we would gain two hull here. So let's exert the crew for plus three. We can spend a treasure token for another plus three. We would lose one, but we could gain. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spend one treasure token. So in total, that's a plus six minus the warship. So we still have a plus five. Five plus five, ah, that's only a 10. Yeah, regular maintenance, gain one hull. So I could now go to listing. This would gain me basically five points or I could just get rid of the required repair card here for minus eight, so net that's three more points. So we would fail this card, but yeah. 
overall that wasn't great at all and before i move on i just noticed i think i forgot to reduce my action point markers for the very first action when we get when we got after the i think what was the ship i cannot quite remember but it doesn't really matter we are out of action points so I think I will call it a day. In theory, I could still spend one X in order. So one of those retainers here to gain an additional action, but I would lose two victory points. But I think overall the game wouldn't be that high either. So I could go for the invincible here, but to be honest, <laughs> there is not really a chance. As we are in the Western Pacific sea zone right now, we would basically pass this test. So that's an additional six victory points and the game immediately ends. But as we put this card here, we can still roll for Captain Nemo's diaries. As we pass the finale card, we have to roll an eight unmodified test pretty much. So I cannot use any of my resources. And I'm also out of cards now. Yeah. Eight it is. Let's see. Wow, that's an 11. Great, 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 great. So that's four more victory points for that one. And we would gain one Nemo, which is awesome because this would give us four more victory points for that extra level here. Okay, overall, that's not too bad. Those were eight more points during the last round, even though I didn't do really much. So let's tally up our score. And it took me a while, but unfortunately, we only made it to 160 victory points. That's really a pity and definitely results in a defeat. So let's read the appropriate epilogue here. The Nautilus is lost with all hands whose misfortunes in the pursuit of science were well, the stuff of great tragedy. The world never learns about Captain Nemo and his legacy is lost forever beneath the waves. I really hope you enjoyed my little playthrough of Nemo's War here. I certainly did. Apologies for all the mistakes, especially during this episode or the last episode. I think in this episode we corrected a lot, but I'm pretty sure I will catch one or two minor errors during editing too. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then, bye bye. <laughs>